स्वतिम व्यासम तथो जय मुदी रेत रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टाइम चैप्टर नंबर वन Why everybody is laughing? They are laughing or they are coughing? <laughs> okay. What is this echo? There is an echo. Okay, no? Why there is an echo? Anyone? Okay, so we read that Kamsa who wanted to kill Devaki and then Vasudev tried to dissuade him but he did not listen. And then Sukhdev Goswami is explaining that when he realized that Kamsa is intent on killing, so he thought now what to do in this situation and he should find some other means to counteract it. So this is, he is continuing to speak this. So he says, Mrityu buddhi matam apohyo yavad buddhi balo dayam yedi asauna nivarteta na pradho asti dehi. So Vasu, this is was how Vasudeva is thinking that an intelligent person, buddhi matam, should try to ward off death as per the strength of one's intelligence. Yavad buddhi balo dayam. So, according to one's buddhi bal or according to one's buddhi and bal, both can be taken as one or separately according to one's intelligence and physical strength or the strength of the buddhi. And if one is not successful, yadi asau na nivarteta na pradho asti dehina, then it is not any flaw on part of the person. You tried, but still you could not save yourself. What can you do? So this is what Vasudev is thinking. But what Kamsa is also thinking like this, then what? Right? Vasudev is thinking that we should protect Devaki. And Kamsa is also thinking he has to protect himself. Yavad buddhi balodaya. Right? So what is wrong in case of Kamsa then he is trying to kill Devaki? Because he says that. <laughs> right? Mrityu buddhi matama poya. So is it not applicable to Kamsa? What would you say? Is it applicable only to Vasudev and not to Kamsa? Yes, no. So then, so therefore, what is he doing is right <laughs> to kill Devaki. No, it's not right. Why? Because the verse says that Mrityu Buddhi Matapoya wants to try to ward off death, and death is coming from Devaki. But he's trying to protect himself. Like yeah. yeah, of course. Sometimes you have to do that. If a tiger is attacking you, you have to protect yourself. You will worship tiger or you will kill him? I will think okay, I will not kill him. But if I have to, I will. Yeah, right? Yes. That's what he is doing. <laughs> <laughs> so what is wrong? The danger doesn't come from the sun. Here the situation is a little different. Okay, let's see. Okay, how many people? Let's let me first ask, how many people think that Kansa is right? I mean, besides me, I have to add 
I have to take that stand. Somebody has to give argument, you know. I also think that Kansa is right because it is applicable to everyone when you are in imminent danger of death. Thank you want to protect you well by all means. Thank you. Anybody who wants to join me. Okay, yes, yes, I think it is wrong because Kansas is impairing that. He doesn't know yet that's going to happen whether their one is truthful or not. But here this is imminent. Devki Kamsa is ready to kill with a weapon. So Vasudev has more priority, more importance to explain <coughs> that. And Kansa doesn't have he's not in the same situation what Vasudev is. Okay. So he says that it is not in the same situation. So that means he should not think, means Kamsa should not think that his death is coming. That's what he's trying to say. Means if, if, you, if you are here and somebody comes and tells you that this guy is plotting against you, he wants to kill you, and so you should not take any action against that person. Because maybe this person is telling lies. That's his argument. Yeah. So with hmm? one. So therefore, if somebody is, comes and tells you that your neighbor wants to kill you, <coughs> he's plotting to kill you, then you should not believe him. He, he, he should not act in, in, uh, under the impulse and... Uh, I mean, what is the impulse? There is a, there is a s statement coming from gods. Mm. Gods don't tell lies. Yeah, but then if he listen properly, he, he, he will understand that the danger doesn't come from the lady, the, 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 the sister. Yeah. The danger will come from the son. Danger does not come from sister. From where does Krishna come? Okay. Krishna is danger, right? Yeah, Krishna is danger. So from where is he coming? Yeah. He's not it's coming from there, okay. Right? So he can Vasudeva. It's coming from Devaki. What Vasudeva? The the voice said eighth son of Devaki. Yeah. It could be from another man. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say it's son from Vasudev and Devaki. No, no, he just said it's son of Devaki, so he it's son of Devaki can come from another man. No, Devaki is only married to Vasudev, not to anybody else. Okay, you you kill Vasudev and he can she can marry another man. He has to kill so many men. There is no remarriage in Vedic system. No. <laughs> You know, there was, there was one man, he shot his wife. So he was produced in the court. So the judge was questioning him that you saw your wife having a relationship with another man. So why did you shoot your wife and not the man? So he said that it's better to shoot her, otherwise I have to shoot one man every week. <laughs> <laughs> so killing Vasudev doesn't solve the problem. <laughs> you understand? Yes, Baba Ji, but uh, that, uh, it was said that the eighth child, so it will take some time to this child to come, so he will have time to prepare to defend himself. He doesn't have to kill her immediately. Well, it's, there's a saying in English that you, what do you call the nip in the bud? This is called nipping in the bud. If you have a disease, it's better to act quickly, not that it turns fourth level of cancer. And then you say, well, cancer takes time. You don't die immediately, right? So I will, I will take when it is third level or fourth level, then I will counteract it. No, then it's too late. So you have to act in time. Coronavirus, so I will let it come to the lungs, then I will think. <laughs> no, it's not like that. This is called buddhi. Mrityu buddhi matamu pohyo yavad buddhi baludev. If you have intelligence, then you try to counteract as quickly as possible. Not that you delay. So, death, disease, fire, and enemy. 
this will not be uh, what you call postponed. Take care of them immediately. Kansa is not buddhi mata, first of all. And secondly, because he is so much under anger, his buddhi doesn't function. So this statement is not applicable to him. No, no, it's, it's not applicable. You are you're not understanding the sloka. No, sloka I understood. It is a general principle. But again, only buddhi mata applies the principle. One Everybody. buddhi mata will not apply the principle. Everybody has buddhi. There is nobody who does not have buddhi. How did he think of killing her if he does not have buddhi? If he did not have buddhi, he will not act. Like a child. Child sees a snake coming, he will catch and start playing with it. He will not think this is him. This is my death and run away. But he didn't have buddhi. The very fact he that he is taking it. action means he has intelligence. So you cannot say he does not have intelligence. He had intelligence, otherwise why was he trying to drive the chariot of her? Devaki? Fools don't do that. It doesn't need a buddhi, it needs affection. Yeah, affection is also a type of buddhi. Uh, Babaji? Mm. Uh, yes. Here the Bhavishyamani was made, so his death was inevitable. So how is it intelligence or strength? to fight against that which is inevitable. Krishna Everybody has to die. Death yes. is inevitable. Everyone has to die. You fall sick. Corona is coming. You will die. So does it mean that anyway I am going to die so why shall I care for Corona? That's what the sloka is saying. That as buddhi, my death will come. But if you have intelligence you try to counteract it as, as much as possible. One day you will die for sure. No one can stop that. But that does not mean that you don't do anything. So that's what Kamsa is trying to do. So Babaji, why Kamsa, why Kamsa didn't, didn't act like King Parikshit? Because King Parikshit knew that he was about to die, but he didn't kill anyone. Because Kamsa is not Parikshit. I mean, this is not a question. Everybody has their different intelligence. And everybody acts differently. You cannot say why, why you are doing this and not like your neighbor is doing. You are your neighbor is neighbor. <laughs> why is that you are listening to the lecture and your neighbor is not listening? In fact, your mom is not listening. You are probably living in the same house, I don't know, maybe. Sure, she is not. Yeah, so why is that? <laughs> because you have better buddhi. So that's not a good argument. So you say Kams cannot blame Kamsa just like that. And uh, Babaji, one more yes, thing. Yes, thank is you. Thank I, I like you. Thank you. You are with me. <laughs> one more, another principle of what I was saying is that in a uh, situation where uh, uh, there is an enemy eyeball to eyeball, so either you kill or you get killed. Exactly. So to... Yes. Whoever acts first wins. Offense is the best defense. And that's what Kamsa is doing. No? Could it be said that if we take Buddhi Bal as a compound, mm. then to classify according to this verse, it would mean he would have to have good Buddhi, not just any type of Buddhi. Yes. And Vasudev has just given him very good advice using very good buddhi. Hmm. So if he also had good buddhi, he would just follow what Vasudev told him. What did he tell? He told him not to kill his sister for various reasons. It would be a defamation of the family. Yeah, but that, that is the going against the sloka. What about his mirtyu? Right, Vasudev so is saying, okay, don't kill her, but and then I'm going to die. So how that sloka apply to him? He says you should contract death by using our intelligence and Vasudev is just trying to you know, not make him not use his buddhi. But Vasudev also spoke to him about a No, Vasudev is speaking from his own interest. Kamsa has to think of his own interest. When it comes to life, everybody has his own interest. 
Kulasya Arthe Tajedekam. Okay? And Gramasya Arthe Kulam Tajet. Gramam me Rashtra Arthe, Atma Arthe Prithvim Tajet. Okay, so in the interest of the Atma, he doesn't actually gain by killing his sister because he only incurs sin and Vasudev advised him in the interest of his Atma Forget not about to kill sin. his sister sin because he would be better off dying that way and having a better chance in his future life. Sin, sin, sin is only when it's not your death. When it comes to your death, there's no sin to protect. Hunt, uh, what is that? Ayata meva hanteva atataina. Anybody who is a atatai means who is a danger to your life, kill him immediately as soon as you see him. Okay, but does that apply in this context when the Devaki is not actually directly the cause mm -hmm. of his death? But the gods are saying, why did God say this now? Tell me. If gods did not have this interest that he should kill Devaki, why should tell it now? They should have told after six or seven children are born. Then they would have said that, okay, the eighth child will kill you. Be careful now. Why the gods are telling now when no child is even born? That means gods want that he should do it. Gods are favoring him. But Otherwise, tell me why, why they are telling him now and not after seventh child. Because they want him to kill all of these other children that Devaki is going to have. So, so that, that means they want, place. the gods want it. Right? No, no, no. They don't want him to kill Devaki now. They want him to kill the children that Devaki will give to relieve them of the curse. How do you know that? That was already told. So they, they could have pronounced it when she is pregnant and she is about to give birth. At least one year he would wait. Well, you can find fault with the gods, but they decided to announce it now. Yeah, so and that's... Their goal that so they, they must Devaki have... You see, behind every action there is a cause. Yes. So... <laughs> if if they are saying it now instead of saying after one year, they must have a reason, and the reason is kill her. There is no other. I mean, anatha anupatti praman, you know. Yeah, yeah. Listen, this. Since everybody is thinking that what the God is saying is completely the truth, and it is truth. It is truth. truth. Okay, yeah. it's yeah. truth. It's, I mean, we know from the story that it is truth. It means that they already know that he will not kill because the eighth child will take his life. So, what we, but why we are worrying so much? <laughs> but, but why are they saying it now? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> Why are they saying it now? Yeah. <laughs> and it's already explained in the commentary we read before. They wanted to say that now because Kansa was so much attached to Devki and they wanted to break the relationship right from now. So this way by the time he it's a bad, comes... It's a bad plan. They are putting Devki's life in danger by doing this. I mean, this is a big mistake on the on the part of these devas. They are putting Devki's life in danger by saying it. If they want to spoil the relationship, they could have planned something else. But to say like this, when the poor lady just got married and happy and, you know, spoiled the whole situation. So don't but blame But the devas also knew the capability of Vasudeva and he says he will be able to resolve these issues. The so Vasudeva is... They, you think they know the capacity? Vasudeva was sweating. Yes. He was, he, he was, he was trembling, man. Don't think they knew the capacity. These are all just fanciful imaginations. Babaji, I just have a question. Hmm. So, is this particular rule that there is no sin uh, when if one kills anyone is under danger? To protect yourself, you can do protect anything. Protect yourself. Yeah, you can do anything. But is, is, it, is it the case for every situation or only for every, certain? Every situation. Everybody has a life, life to, I mean, the, right. this is a law that if somebody comes to your house and shooting, you can kill him, right? Then if somebody enters your property eh, and starts shooting you, you can actually shoot him. It's not an offense because you have the right to protect yourself. Hurry ball, let's move. <laughs> <laughs> Hari 
Hare Krishna. <laughs> I just wanted to ask uh, that if it was said that the seven, eighth child will kill Kansa, then why he killed all the seven child children? Will, that will come in the story because which one is eighth you cannot figure out. It depends from where you start killing. If you start counting from number two, which one will be the eighth? The first one. It's not just one way of counting. You can count from anywhere. Right? If you count from the back side, then which one is the first? First is the eighth. Right? So it just depends how you count. So Kamsa did not get, want to get fooled like that. that. This is the eighth and this is the this is this. Who knows? Who knows what the gods are thinking? Which one is the eighth? Anyone can be eighth. Right? What is east and what is west? It's relative. What is east to you now? You move few steps, that becomes west. Right? So eighth is relative. Okay. Like, Already in this shloka, this aparad uh, is uh, in the sense of uh, sin, like pap, na, not exactly like bhakti aparad. Yeah, yeah. Aparad here simply means flaw, defect. Means there is no flaw on his part. Okay, let's move. This was just a little bit exercise in debating, so that your brain churns. So. Let's read the commentary. Apohiya pratikarya. Apohiya means pratikarya means try to what you call counteract. You should try to counteract. If there is a danger to your life, then you should try to counteract it according to your buddhi, whatever you may have. You may have to talk, you may have to run away. You may have to fight, right? Fight, flight, freeze. Mm -hmm. right. So whatever is needed. Yavan buddhi balayor udayor yatra tadiyathasyat. As long as your buddhi is functioning, as long as you have strength in your body, in your senses, you should not give up. If you become sick, you lose power, there is nothing you can do. But as long as you have strength, you should fight. Asmat kans hastat mirtyu pratikare mamtu balasya udiyo vifalaeva buddhir udiyastu safalo bhavitu marhati ti bhava. So he says that as far as my bala, my physical strength is concerned, I am not a match to kamsa. But as far as my buddhi is concerned, I think I can defeat him or overpower him. So, buddhi riyasya balam tasya nirbuddhestu kutah balam. One who has buddhi has the power. One who does not have buddhi does not have power even if he has the power. So, the jackals, they kill the elephant. There was a pack of jackals, they saw an elephant moving and they said, wow, it will be so nice if you can eat his meat. But how can we get his meat? He's so powerful. So one of the chief ones says, just see my buddhi bal. You will see the strength of my intelligence. I will get this elephant for food for you. So he says, really? He says, yes. He says, you just see. So he planned. So he went to the elephant when he was sitting in a peaceful mind and not thinking. He came running to him. He says, Sir, sir, sir. He says, What? He says, I am the messenger of the animals of this forest. He says, So what? He says, They all have decided that they want to install you as the king of the forest. You will be the chief of all the animals. And he says, Really? He says, yes, the meeting is going on and they are all waiting for you. And they have sent me to call you and they want to do your Abhishek now. Because now this is the Mahurta, good time. 
so you should not delay and let's go quickly. He says, please hurry up because we don't want this auspicious moment to pass. So then elephant was so happy. He says, I am going to be the king of all the animals, including the lions and tigers and wolves. I will be the ruler. He said, yes. He said, you just follow me. So he, the jackal is running and the elephant is following him. So then he had already planned, he took through the way, way where there was a ditch and on top they had put some little grass. So there was no problem for the jackal to pass, he's not heavy. And the elephant came, he fell in it. And then he fell down, he says, hey, I'm here, I fell down. The jackal comes, what? Fell down, don't worry. I call the other jackals, we'll pull you out. So then he called all of them and they had a nice lunch. So this is called buddhi. Ya buddhi riyasse balantasse. So therefore he, he is commenting that his physical strength, he cannot be successful in fighting with him. But buddhi rudiyasthu safalo bhavitu marat. He says there, but his buddhi can be successful and therefore he says aso mrityuhu so he is going to now try to protect Devaki that was my argument also Vasudev is more intelligent than Kansa thank you <laughs> we agree with you <laughs> I was just being devil. Sapradaya mirtyave putran mochi ekripanam imam sutame yadi jayeran mirtyurva nimriyet chet viparyayova kimne syad gatir dhatur duratyaya upastito nivarteta nimvritta punarapatet. So this is what he thought. He says that this Kamsa is like a death. He's, he's not calling that he should say actually Pradaya Kamsaya Putran that I will give my children to Kamsa and Mochi Ekirpanam Imam and I will protect this poor lady from his sword. He's calling Kamsa as death, Mirtyave. So he says that I will give my sons to this Kamsa and in this way I will protect her. Sutta me yadi jayaran mirtyurvanam liyachet. So if any sons will be born to me from her, then I will give them to him. So maybe no sons, because if he can uh, spare her now, who knows whether sons will be born or not born? And then who knows, maybe Kansa will die before the eighth son is born. Or he will die even if the first son is born, because death can come any time. So therefore he says, Mirtyur vanem riyat chet, that if this Kamsa himself did not die, then I will give him sons, otherwise if he dies, then who is going to kill my sons? Or maybe my son will kill him. Even when he is born and I give it to him, he will still kill him. If he has to kill, he will kill. So, Vipariyaya vakim ne syad vidhatur gatir vidhatur durte. So no one can transgress the injunction of Vidhata or what you call the lines of the fate. So if he's, he's, it is actually written that he will be killed by the eighth child, then I will give him the eighth child and he will kill him anyway. Who can change that? Instead of he killing the child, the child will kill him. 
will pray you ke mne sath white cannot be other way around so now i promise him that i will give him the child as soon as the child is born i give you so i will give you from the first one itself and then you can do what you want to do so upasthito nivartayate nivrutta punarapatayate so it says sometimes when the death is present it can be you know postponed as it happened in case of ajamila right case of ajamila the yamdutas came but he did not die and then the other people who have no death like hiranyakashipu he said he will not die inside outside day or night by animal or by this and by weapon you know he had all these boons means he was free from death for all practical purpose but he was killed so nivritta punarapatayat one who is free from death death can come to him and one for whom death has come he can become free from that and it also happened to satyavan that story of satyavan and savitri and yeah, satyavan was predicted that he will die after one year and yet savitri married him and he did die but then savitri got him back from yamraj so death came he even died and still he was brought back like the son of chitraketu right so he died then he came back for a short time just for a lecture then he went away so he said so many things can happen so tatra evam karishyami iti swagatam ah so this what is being described here in these two shlokas is what he is thinking within his own mind swagatam this is he is not speaking this audibly but just in his own head planning what to do mrityave kansai mrityave mrityu here means kansa nanu idam api anuchitam iti aashanke ah suta iti so then when he thought that i will give my sons to kamsa and protect my wife then you know, he thought that this is also not good i mean naturally uh, what will you feel that new born child is b- there and you were going to go and give it for killing so he thought oh so then he says suta me yadi jairan first of all if at all children are born to me so there is a if right this button if are two important words so he said maybe they are not born so let me protect so thinking like this and then mrityur vanam riyat chet and maybe kamsa will die himself before that thinking like this okay so so sutaiti yadi na jairan tada na ko api chinta if i do not have any children then i have no worries and yadi jairan atsya mrityu kansa stavta kalina api nimrit and even if i have children who knows maybe kansa himself will die by that time tada anuchitam syade but if he does not die then of course it will be highly improper but what can be done at least i i save devki devki tu sampati jivet यदि चावता काले न कंसो मृत है तदा न काचिद अपि चिंता बट इफ कंस आल्सो डाई देन आई हैव नो वरीज दैट विल बी द बेस्ट विपर्ययो वाइति मया तदानी मस्मै पुत्रे समर्प्य मानो सति स पुत्रे व सद्य प्रबली भूय कंसमिमम वधिष्यति वा इट कैन आल्सो हैपन द अपोजिट that child is born and i offer that child to kamsa and that kamsa suddenly that child suddenly becomes very powerful and kills kamsa 
ಪೂರ್ಣೋದಿಸ್ ನನು ಪ್ರೌಢಸ್ಯ ಕಂಸಸ್ಯ ತವ ಬಾಲ್ಕಾತ್ ಕಥಂ ಬದಂ ಸಂಭವೇತ್ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ಮನ್ ಐ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಎ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೋನ್ ಅಪ್ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ನ್ಯೂ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಬೇಬಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಜ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ವೈರಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಿಲ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಎ ವೈರಸ್ ರೈಟ್ virus can kill a strong grown up man why not a small baby you can also kill so tatraha gatiriti asya astvamastu mogarbha ityukta vato dhatu so he says gatir that we don't know the fate that is means fate because we just now heard that the eighth child of devaki will kill you evam cha sati upasthita kansasya hastat devaki mrityur nivartet so in this way at least i would be able to protect devaki from the hands of cruel kamsa and i must do that tatha mat kartrika putra arpan pratigya nivritto api kansasya mrityu punarapatet prapto bhavit and even when i offer my children to him as per my promise mat kartrik putra and pratigya kamsa se mrityu punarapate prapta it is possible that kamsa can still die so he is considering all these possibilities and he comes to this conclusion that i better tell him that he should spare devaki and i offer any child who is born to her so this is what he is considering in his mind agner yatha daru viyoga yogayor adrishtato nyatra nimittam asti ಏಂ ಹಿಜಂತೋರಿ ದುರ್ವಿಭಾವ್ಯ ಶರೀರ ಸಂಯೋಗ ವಿಯೋಗ ಹೇತು ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಫಾಯರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಬರ್ನ್ಸ್ ದ ವುಡ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಚ್ ವುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಬರ್ಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವುಡ್ and not on anything else it's only the adrishta because of which it happens so sometimes the wood in the fire gets burnt and wood in the kitchen is safe right wood in the kitchen is meant for burning it may be staying safe there but the fire happens in the forest and that gets burnt and sometimes when there is fire then it burns one house burns another house and then it leaves one house and goes to the next town right it happens like that also hmm so hanuman was burning lanka but vishnu's house was spared right all of the people who had brought the cotton and the ghee to pour on his tail he said okay you supplied it so i should use it for you isn't it if you bring ghee for me then i should give you something back so all those people who brought ghee and cotton from their house then hanuman went to each house and burnt it right as a thank you to them so thank you for giving this i'm so happy because otherwise from where i will bring if i have to burn lanka then from where i will i bring so much cotton and so much ghee so you people are so generous 
that you are supplying it free of cost to me so that I can do my job and go back and tell to Ramchandra that look this is what I did it didn't cost anything they themselves supplied it so but Vibhishan's house was spared because he didn't give <laughs> so he says in the same way you don't know who, which person meets whom. There are seven billion people, but some sp specific people come together. And then even when they're together, they separate. So it is all the game of adrishta, fate or karma. So it is karma which brings people together. It is karma which separates them together. Just watch that. So, machittam chintitam etat chintitam etan na sambhavam. He says, What I have thought, then it is not completely impossible. Why yatha praninam adrishtam durvitarkyam? Because the fate of human being is very difficult to know, right? So, shanur dham na janami vidhata kim vidhasyati. I don't know what will happen to me next moment. No one can say. Even the great astrologers, they cannot predict their own death. They say one thing and then it doesn't happen. Even great astrologer, Vashishta, he, his prediction came wrong, right? He is the one who found the Mahurta to put Lord Ramachandra as the king of Ayodhya. He went to forest for 14 years. So what happened to his Jyotis? His sage is supposed to have a vision is master of Jyotis, but it failed. So Jyotis is like that. It's only a probability. It's not 100%. Just like in quantum mechanics, we have a probability. We have this Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Nothing is certain. So fate is exactly like that. Because there are too many factors involved. It's not only something which has happened in the past, you are also doing so many things now and many people are doing many things and all those influences are there. So you can give a probability that there is a good probability of this thing happening but no one can say for certain that it is going to happen like this only. So high probability means it can happen but sometimes not. So therefore he says, this Adrishta or Prarabdha is Durvitarkya. It is difficult to explain it logically. That what really caused it? There is logic, there is a cause and effect relationship, but it is so complex. Because if something is happening, there has to be a cause for that. But to ascertain the cause, that is difficult. So therefore he says that Durvitarkyamiti Sadrishtantama Agnir Vane Vikshan Pradahto Dharuno Yo Yo Vyoga Yoga Kadachit Sanhita Sapi Yoga Kadachit Viprakrishta Sapi Yoga So just like if there is a forest fire, so sometimes fire is here and there is a tree next to it and that gets spared but something which is far away that gets burnt. So it's not predictable. Although there is a reason for that, some wind blew off or whatever happened, but thing is that what can be said. So Vrikshanam Dukha Drishtam Eva Karna. So what is the cause here ultimately? He says it is the karma of the tree. 
some tree had bad karma so it got burnt some tree had good karma it survived evameva shariranam shariranam sanyog vyogi janmani or hetu darvabhavya vachan so it says in the same way the embodied beings they have their birth and they have their death so it is also very difficult to explain it birth and death these are two major mysteries of this universe and they will always remain so no matter how much science advances they will still remain a mystery because they are beyond the so called simple natural laws it's very complex situation evam vimrishya tam papam yavadatmani darshanam pujyama savai sharir bahur man purasharam so he says that thinking like this evam vimrishya tam papam that sinful person comes a pujya mas he worshiped him he honored him shauri bahun man purasara with great respect he gave him so much respect pujya mas yavad buddhi at so according to his knowledge and according to his deliberation he gave much respect to him and then he spoke to him pujya mas means he spoke in a very respectful words so that somehow he can change his mind because in this situation arguing or becoming proud or challenging him none of these things are going to work he is very egoistic comes up so the only way you can change his mind is to flatter his ego so when ego is flattered then he his mood will change then he will think well he is being so nice to me how can i be so cruel so this is what he is doing so sometimes you have to do like that right in hindi there is a gadhe ko bab banam sometimes you have to say father to an ass <laughs> means somebody who some human being who is like a donkey but you also have to touch his feet and respect him to get your work done so that is intelligence so ye in ke in prakar hai na samhara dar you have to get your job done and if you remain proud then you will lose it. you can keep your pride with yourself who cares for it the millions wandering loitering around with pride so intelligent person is one who can get achieve what he wants to achieve so that is buddhi matta so this is what he is going to do now prasanna vadanam bhoja nishansam nirapatrapam man sadhu ye mane na vihasan nidam abravit so now he puts up a nice smiley face vasudev prasanna vadanam bhoja in a very very pleasing face and vihasan as if he is smiling he spoke the following words to the cruel and shameless kamsa although vasudev in his mind he was very much 
troubled duye mane ne he was very troubled inside but outside he did not show it outside he was very calm and composed and he spoke to him in a very pleasing manner praising him he has already praised him enough remember he said that you are a heroic person you are very affectionate and so many things you are famous all that so he is continuing that सो स्वांत प्रसाद ज्ञापना प्रत्यग्र स्निग्धीकृत वदना भोज यूयम संताप्यम मनसा युक्त सो हिज हार्ट वॉज वेरी मच ट्रबल्ड बिकॉज ही वॉज वरीड अबाउट हिज वाइफ बट आउटवर्डली ही पुट अ नाइस स्माइल लाइक अ लोटस who is blooming and then he spoke the following words to him shri vasudeva watch so shri vasudev said nahi asya aste bhayam samya yad vai saha sharir vak putran samarpi shri asya yataste bhayam uthitam so vasudev said that o samya Samya means the gentle one. So he he knows that the <laughs> Kamsa is very cruel. <laughs> he had a sword in his heart, ready to kill his own sister. He is saying, "Oh Samya, <laughs> oh the most gentle person, listen what I have to say." He says that you heard that voice from the sky. and the voice said that the eighth child of devaki will kill you so you have no fear from devaki isn't it so kamsa will say yes your fear is from the eighth child so i promise that i will give you all the child who are born to putran samarpyasya asya यतस्ते भयमुत्थितम योर फियर इज ओनली फ्रॉम द एट्थ चाइल्ड ऑफ देवकी नॉट फ्रॉम देवकी सो वाई यू वॉन्ट टू किल हर अननेसेसरली एंड गेट बैड नेम एंड ऑल्सो बिकम सिंफुल इट्स वेरी सिंफुल टू डू दैट यू आर सो वेल एस्टेब्लिश्ड इन सोसाइटी एवरीबडी प्रेज इज यू एवरीबडी नोज यूर वेलर यूर हीरोइक एक्ट्स and why do you want to spoil all this sasambhavitasya purushasya marnadatirich sambhavitasya chakirti marnadatirich for a person of fame in fame is death actually more than death so you are famous person and now you are going to do this you are inviting your own death by killing her you are also killing yourself So don't do that. There is nothing. You just kill the children. That's enough. I will give you children. So asya ha sakasha te bhayam nasti. You have no fear from her. Kintu asya ashtmat putrat. But only from the eighth child. And this is what the prediction or the voice in the sky spoke. यदि यथा अहम तो पुत्रान अष्टा हुए वे समर्पित से बट आई एम सेंग दैट आई विल गिव यू ऑल द एट चिल्ड्रन द फर्स्ट एट चिल्ड्रन आई विल गिव टू यू फ्रॉम नाइन्थ ऑनवर्ड्स आई विल कीप सो डोंट वरी मिसे जी ये तो अपने घर की बात <laughs> क्यों <laughs> बच्चा पैदा कर मत कर <laughs> अपने बाएं बाएं हाथ का खेल है तो ले लो ये आठ ले लो दूसरे आठ पैदा कर लो सो यथा पुत्रात् भयमुत्थित सवा बध्यता सो यू हैव फियर और द फियर हैज अ रीजन ओनली फ्रॉम देयर चिल्ड्रन सो यू किल देम अष्टवे वा बध्यंता 
you can keep either I give you the child, you can keep them you and kill the earth one or you kill all of them. I don't care, but don't spare her. So this is what he proposed and it worked. So finally Vasudev was able to save Devaki and we will stop here if any question on this. Babaji, you mentioned that sometimes you've got to call a donkey your father. Mm -hmm. So one might argue that that is being superficial or being dishonest, but at the same time, you find that when you are brutally honest, people get offended. So uh, how do you get the balance right in relationships? So then you have to see the end outcome. What is the outcome of it? You have to do it in such a way that they don't distrust you. Just like in this case, he is also going to give the child. He promises. He is not telling lies. But at the same time, he is putting up a face because he has to protect Devaki. He is putting a nice smile. He is praising him. So, this kind of dishonesty is alright. What is the point in being honest and then losing your life? Say, if some thief comes to you and says, where is your money? And you say, well, here it is. And actually I have in the other pocket also. <laughs> well, he's going to take it. If you want to protect your money, but don't tell. saying in Gujarati, Garaj Sare Gadirane Baat Ke Ho. Hmm. Exactly. That's why Gujaratis are so successful. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> they're, they're using this. <laughs> but if you tell this to people in Haryana, <laughs> They will say, what? I will never do that. Apna kaam nikal ne ke liye gadhe ko baap banao. You can call a donkey and your father. If that's how you are going to get your job done. That's what he's saying. Right? Am I right? Yes. Yes. So when you have garage means you have your need to be fulfilled and there is somebody who may be a low class person but you can get your job done through him then you go and <coughs> please him, praise him, bow down to him okay thank you <laughs>